On today's adventure, we're going to the Sanctuary Treehouse Resort in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. We'll be taking you on a full tour of their tree fort, which has a slide, and their tree fort doubles, which has two slides and a drawbridge. And finally, we're gonna go check out their Lux model, which will have some really neat surprises we're gonna show you in this video. We will also be going on a tour of the property with the owners to show you the future expansion plans of this unique treehouse resort that has some amazing views of the Great Smoky Mountains. First, let's talk about where the Sanctuary Treehouse Resort is located right here down the road from Soaky Mountain Water Park. If you were to take a ride on this road, you'd be going past Wilderness of the Smokies. The resort property is right here next to this golf course. You might see some of the tree houses on your left, which is where you'll be turning to make it to the Sanctuary Treehouse Resort. I'm gonna pass it over to Bree, who's gonna talk with Brian and Amanda, the owners. Can you tell us a little bit about your basic tree house. Well we have our um, tree fort which is this one here I'm standing in front of is chasing fireflies. It's the first one that we built. We learned a lot on this one and it's our just our standard floor plan. And then we have our tree fort double which is two of these put together and they're connected with a drawbridge that you can raise and lower and you can rent them separately or together. And then we have our luxury one which is uh, got some different features, a little more luxurious for couples or families that just don't need all of the swings and things. Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at one of the tree forts now. We have the classic treehouse pulley system here, and Mike is going to show us how it works. So if you want to send notes, that's what I did as a kid, we'd send notes on the pulley <laughs> system. Or you could send down a, a beverage or a yes. snack yes. or whatever you like. Just no children or pets. No children or pets, please, <laughs> or adults. <laughs> no, no test its limits. Okay, Hannah, give your brother a water. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, so welcome to the tree fort. This is our standard layout, so to speak, and these are uh, for up to six people staying accommodations. They always come with a king, a secret rollout queen bed right here. You can roll that out. Simply doing this. And it also works really great. Our kids have been using it as kind of a couch. Starlight, which I don't know if you'll be able to see right now, but each of them have these and they have different features that you can work on those for different lighting at night. We also have the drink chute. So if you have somebody on the bottom porch and they're thirsty, you can put any size bottle or can down here and you just pull the lever. There it down. Ooh. Yeah, that's more like it. So cool. Yeah, pretty <laughs> groovy. And then they all have LED fireplaces inside and they have wood burning fireplaces on the back porch. And then you've got the two twin beds here. Yes. And tell me what's special about this bed here. What is this? Well, there's a little secret to it. And there you have it. And then you've got table, table for two. Go ahead. We always like to put cute kids in there. Where's dinner, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Does somebody want to climb up to you the bed? Do that? Okay, Micah. Okay. Grab your pillow. Oh. There you go. Make awesome. it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. How about that guy staring at you? <laughs> um, toilet closet. Our luxury has a bidet in it, and then all the rest of them have heated seat features. Okay. These Jack Daniel whiskey barrel sinks we make here. And we also sell those, as well as the Jack Daniels table. Brian and his guys make all the furniture, all the bed designs, everything. So they all have heated seats? Yes. And not just the luxury? Okay. Yes, they Very do. Nice. It's, a, it's a luxury we just never knew you needed to have. I know. You and if got I, it. Yeah, if I got it, then I would be like, yeah, Makes where would I live without this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then every fort will have like a kitchenette. Yes, the kitchenettes are all equipped with a Keurig coffee maker a microwave, a small mini fridge. We start everyone out with a small supply of what they might need to get started and all, you know, before they hit the store and cleaning items. And then of course there's drawer space for your clothing and we stock it with all of the little snacks and coffee and things that you would need. And of course our little guest book, which I love to read and can't wait to see what everybody puts in there. So yeah. that's been kind of neat. And they've uh, and got their dishes and silverware and everything that Absolutely. And grill tools. There's a small Weber gas grill on the back of all of them for cooking out. And then you've got our 
sanctuary charcuterie board. I call them a charcuterie board, which is <laughs> grown-up lunchable, but this is just for serving okay. items. And so, yeah, you should have everything you need just to get started in here. This is our wooded view. You've got patio seating and bar seating for four. Okay. And then you've got your gas Weber grill here for cooking out. And then you've got your two Adirondack chairs with your wood-burning fireplace and access to the slide and then of course you've got your hidden secret door and secret ladder there so the kids can kind of climb up and down and run down and slide mm -hmm. while you're cooking out. I want to show you what that hidden door she's talking about looks like. You can climb up here. You can see Hannah and Micah heading up the ladder and right back down the slide. <laughs> so the wooded view, is that like a little pond back there? Is that that is. Place? This okay. one definitely overlooks the pond and of course when things get green it should be even more beautiful back here but sure. I don't know if I prefer the wooded view or the mountain view they both have their own peacefulness about them sure, sure. but even if you wanted the mountain view and it's not available and you have to book in the wooded view you can get that view all over the property right get outside and we hear that a lot we're like how's your Wi-Fi hmm. um, it's not big enough space and we did that on purpose the porches have more space for a reason if you come to the smokies to sit inside on the wi-fi mm -hmm. you could have saved money and stayed home right we want you to get outside right. whether it be on your porches within the resort or in the smoky mountains right get out that's, enjoy yes. the beauty of god's creation absolutely right? that's why you're here yeah. so now that we've been in a fort and looked at the top can you tell us a little bit about what we'll find underneath absolutely under here, you'll see we've got wonderful swings for all the kids and adults. We've got a big outdoor swing. We've got the egg swings. These are all on all of the porches. And you've got your flat swing. Here's where your drink chute comes out for when you order down your beverage. Um, all of them are equipped with tabletop seating for four. There's your secret ladder and then your TV that's on a swivel. So whether you're over there or you're, or you're dining over here or on the chair, um, you can move that around. We've got bistro lighting underneath. They're a whole different kind of eye candy at night. It's just beautiful, quaint, romantic, all the things you would want it to be. And then, of course, we've got our beautiful concrete tree structures. Something important to know is we get asked that all the time. They say, that's not a tree house. It's a house on stilts. That's not the tree house that I grew mm -hmm. up with. Well, um, it's not safe for the trees. Right. It is also not safe for people. A uh, city also does not allow us to attach to a tree and we wouldn't want to. Mm -hmm. um, if you're wanting to preserve nature, you don't attach to them. Right. And it can cause a lot of potential problems. We have learned to build among the trees within the topography of the land. And then we had some great people show us how to build things like these trees out of concrete. So you have the whole feel of a tree without mm -hmm putting the trees in danger. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's ultimately what you want to do. Can you show us the difference between this bottom and the Lux? Yeah, so the tree fort and the tree fort doubles have this setup. And if you come over here, I can show you the luxury. Mm -hmm. So this is the luxury and it has an outdoor swinging day bed, which is great for sleeping. At night, you can pull these curtains if you want privacy. They're all the way around. They're magnetic, so they close. So you can have your own little private sanctuary in here. Bistro lit, and of course, you've got table for two. You can have dinner out here. And you've got your outdoor trough tub, which is really, really, really cool. You can take a bath and um, hang out and just be cozy. And of course, it's got the TV on a swivel as well. So wherever you're at, you can move it. You're in the tub, you're having dinner or you're just chilling in the bed. So This is neat. amazing, I love this yeah. one. Yes. This is my favorite. <laughs> I think it's a lot of people's favorite, but I tell you, they all have something different and unique and fun and cool about them. Speaking of something fun and unique, we had to go check out the Tarzan and the Jane so we could check out this double slide and the drawbridge. So we're inside the Tarzan room, but we're gonna go on the back patio and Bree is gonna get a tutorial on how the drawbridge works. So I'm here with Brian and he is also the owner here at the Sanctuary Treehouse Resort. And we're in Tarzan and Jane, and there's a drawbridge that connects these two forts that you can have open if you wanna hang out with your family and friends or neighbors, or you can have up if you don't want to see them. So can you tell us how this works? When you come in, the drawbridge will be in the up position and a guardrail. So right now we've already lowered it, so you can now come over and open your gate, but you can't open the other gate because on these gates we have uh, combination locks which match the front door code. So once you have the combination lock off, the other person has to have their combination off 
and, and open. So then you open both of them and you can go back and forth. When you're friendly with your neighbor. When you know your neighbor, this is how it works. <laughs> so now we'll close it and then we'll raise the drawbridges. And when we do raise the drawbridge, there's an additional safety lever latch that engages when the drawbridge starts going up to keep people from being able to push the gate open. If say this drawbridge is up, you've opened your gate, you've cheated and reached around and opened this gate, it still won't be able to open because of the safety catch. Perfect. That way. There you okay. go. Go. It's a race. <laughs> I win. And there's the drawbridge in the up position. It's a guardrail to keep you from going further. Okay. So you got to kind of loosen it a little bit and, and release that. Flip it down. Okay. Now it will, you lower it down. That's good. Okay. And you see the the catch flipped up ah, and yes. now you can open the gates back yeah. up and enjoy your friendly neighbors. And we're friends again. <laughs> yes. This is the the racing slides. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, Mike is the winner. Why not? <laughs> okay, ready? Wow, <laughs> that's fast. <laughs> so right now we have our temporary entrance. Um, that's for our first phase guests to come in. Um, they will be able to park at their treehouse with their car. But once we get our, our main entrance, we'll be here. This is our temporary entrance down here for first phase. This is where the, our guests are coming in right now. Okay. But once our check-in building, which we're calling the fort, and our maintenance building and golf cart, is built. This will be our main entrance at the beginning. And guests will pull in, check in, park, and they'll get a complimentary golf cart for their stay. And that's how they will navigate around throughout the resort. There will be no motorized vehicles. Tell us a little bit about what it costs to stay here. Well, we have our pricing starts at $250 a night and it goes up from there, depending on which treehouse you select and what season you book in. Okay. So holidays obviously would be higher. Peak season, off season yes. would be just lower. Like, yeah. Yep. Okay. Like everybody else in the area, you, those prices are different for those times. But we try to keep it, you know, affordable for everyone. We want everyone to be able to come here. People that stay here with us, um, we have partnered with our favorite area businesses. Okay. And we have like a partner perk program. So everyone that stays here, and we don't charge for this, um, they get a partner perk card. And on one side is our logo, on the other side is a QR code. And you'll scan that and you'll see all the places you can go and save money with unique discounts to our favorite businesses in the area. Wow, that's Pretty fantastic. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Save money when you stay here. That's always good. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the resort has a walking trail that they'll be expanding along with a scavenger hunt that you can do with your whole family. So Brian and Amanda offered to give us a ride around their property to check out some of the trails and scavenger hunt along with their expansion plans, where she explained that this would be the end of their phase one tree houses. This will be one of the scavenger hunt stops big tree. Also great for people to jump inside and take a really cool photo. Okay, we're gonna try to go up that hill there. Uh-oh. We're going four-wheeling, y'all. Go four-wheeling and we got <laughs> a load. <laughs> Let's see on. how it goes. Everybody <laughs> lean forward. <laughs> this we've been calling High Point. This will be um, a community area. We have plans for uh, building we're trying to find out. We're going to have an arborist come out and tell us if this tree is healthy here, but we hope that it is because we find it to be really beautiful. And this decking will obviously all need to go away. It's old, although kind of cool in itself. This whole area have a bar top and seating for people to just hang out. And when we're more built out, we'll probably have a, some food or smoker up here, a food truck, smoking something every day. And they can eat dinner and lunch up here. This is our enchanted forest. That tree, we're going to build a wagon wheel around it uh, of tree houses, 10 tree houses around it. There'll be a round deck, probably 40 foot in diameter. And the tree houses have drawbridges dropping onto the common deck. Okay. And then like people, groups can rent all of them mm -hmm. and then take over the whole place. Or they can rent individually and then you can still 
put the deck down, your bridge down, go onto the common deck and join everybody or just stay on your back porch. Well, this is just a, a valley. There's no natural spring or anything here. I mean, it's just drainage, but we'll put a pond down there and, and create a, a creek in the bank. We'll build the community hot springs with a waterfall spilling over the top of them. We know the walking trail is gonna go around the bowl of the valley here. And we're thinking we're gonna do some rope bridges back and forth. And the reason we call it the Enchanted Forest is we're gonna string a bunch of fairy lights up in, in, in the trees, as many as we can possibly get, so this whole thing glows at night. When the full canopy is on, uh, you, you can't even see sunlight in here. It's almost like you're in the deep national forest. I mean, you really feel like you're in the national forest because you can't see anything but everything. Oh, here we go. Here the deer. Oh. 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 Oh, it's like they know when we have somebody on the trail. They're like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they crossed the last time. Well, this is the end of the property. We'll have one more kind of wagon wheel circle around that big red oak right there. Uh, and then this whole thing is one big cul-de-sac. Big turnaround with tree houses on the inside and outside. But this is the end of the property. It spills right into the golf course. Okay. This is really the scavenger hunt. Okay. Uh, path we were taking you on. There's the Enchanted Forest, waterfalls, streams, hot springs, hot tub, not a hot tub, hot springs for sure. Illuminated Forest, giant slide. This is all projected for 2026. Um, and then that's, the hilltop. That's that tree mm -hmm. that he was pointing out. With the wrap around. The uh, walking trail, of course, will be within the Enchanted Forest as well. We haven't figured out how we're going. So that would probably extend it for over, over four miles. Okay. And our fort, there's our check-in building. We'll have our front desk, our parking, the complimentary golf cart pickup, a gift shop, um, your sundries, and of course, we're gonna have a pizzeria and a butcher shop where you can have, uh, you can go and get items to put on your grill like Perfect. fillets and asparagus, already prepackaged things, s'mores kits and things like that. So okay. you can just never even have to go to the store if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Stay and play. <laughs> that's that's what I love. <laughs> Absolutely, you just get here, it's easy. And mm -hmm. what's really, really great about this location, you know, despite the, the amenities and the beautiful views, you don't have to get into traffic to get to us. Right. We are right before all of that starts. Yes. So you can pull in, unload, let the kids out, let them wear it out a little bit, chill out, and then go on up into the park and, and enjoy all the things that our area has yeah. to offer. That's fantastic. Yeah. I did want to take a moment and go a little more in depth on each of the first seven tree houses that they have built. Starting out with their very first tree fort, which is called Chasing Fireflies, number 49. You can see the bottom deck area. I just wanted to also give you a look at what the view you would have. It is a wooded view, as well as give you a little perspective of how close your neighbor would be right over here, which would be number 52, Squirrels Gone Wild. As we walk you through the bottom level patio area, you can get a little look at what your view would be from down below here on this wooded view, but I gotta bring you up top to show you inside. This tree fort, as it is decorated with squirrels all throughout, including ones that are flying even as you walk right in the door. This was Micah's favorite tree fort. Next to that is number 62, Tremendous Fun. This is the one that we toured earlier in the video, but wanted to give you one last look at the wooded view you would have from the back patio of this tree fort. Next, we come to Air Fort One, which is a tribute to veterans of the Air Force. This room has a number of Air Force decorations on the wall, a number of American flags, some shadow boxes, and various items that were actually on the original Air Force One, but a very similar layout to that first one we looked out, but again, a more American military themed tree fort. And you can see the view outside of Air Fort One is beautiful. You can watch people play golf. You got the slide over here. So if you've got the kids or grandkids with you, you can still leverage that slide. But man, look at the view from this particular tree fort. You can even catch some helicopters going by and enjoy your time outside cooking on the grill here and just enjoying the Great Smoky Mountains. You can see the back patio fireplace here 
And to the right behind the tree is the Tarzan and Jane, the tree fort double, which is where we're gonna head to next. As we checked out the Tarzan and the Jane earlier in the video, checking out their double slides and the drawbridge, these are jungle themed rooms, as you can get a look at one of the bathrooms here. And again, some of the jungle decor around the room makes you feel like you're in an old Tarzan and Jane movie. I love the little monkey hanging up there in the tree. And if you ever need assistance in this room, just hit the button on the wall. I did want to give you a look at the bottom of Jane as we come down here with a lot of those standard swings that Amanda talked about earlier. You got your TV, your table, your ladder to get up to the back patio. You can see Air Fort One over to your right and you've got some uh, trees in the back here and your Tarzan next door is gonna have a very similar layout as this one. Moving on from Tarzan and Jane, let's wrap up at their Lux treehouse. Finally, we make it to number 48, the Honey Hole, which is a Lux. The Lux is a top choice for couples, small families, or groups of four and features upscale decor and amenities like copper clawfoot tub, suspended outdoor day bed, outdoor tub, and more. So you'll notice there's no bunk bed here in the Honey Hole in this Lux treehouse as instead it just has this copper clawfoot tub right next to this relaxing fireplace. This was Bree's favorite. As you can see, the view off the back of the honey hole here is just breathtaking. It would be great to sit out here and watch the sunset and relax together as a couple. I also just wanted to point out that all the tree houses are gonna have your air conditioning and basic amenities, including Wi-Fi. They will allow up to two non-aggressive dogs per reservation and select tree houses. That's gonna wrap up this look at the Sanctuary Treehouse Resort. A big thank you to the Jensen family for having us out so we could create this virtual tour for you. And we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. What would you like to stay in the most? A tree fort, a tree fort double, or the Lux. Or feel free to ask any other questions in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any future adventures here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.